everybody, and welcome to this uh, short how-to video on a new uh, Release 24 feature, how to set up and put an inventory location on hold. Uh, brought to you by uh, uh, GSI, that's the company I work for, and um, if we are your uh, partner uh, for any Thing JD Edwards, um, particularly new functionality, upgrades, support, um, and we you know provide a 100% guarantee behind all the work we do. Um, JDE is our primary business, and I am a solution architect uh, for GSI. Uh, I've been working with JD Edwards for 24 years now, and um, I am the uh, you know a kind of across the board guy across all the functionality and the tools, features, and whatnot. And um, so what I thought I would bring to you today, because one of the exciting things for me in release 24 was the cap is the capability to put a location on hold. You know, prior to this uh, functionality being available, uh, you would have to, um, um, you would have to, uh, if you wanted to put uh, uh, inventory on hold, you would have to, uh, you would have to uh, put use lot control and then put any lot that was in that location on hold individually, which could mean a lot of transactions, a lot of effort to go through and do that. Um, and one of the things I was pleased about with this new uh, functionality, um, it is not uh, does not require lot control. So even your items, inventory items that are not lot control, you, as long as they're in a location, you can put that location on hold. Um, and that, that location hold takes precedence over lot uh, status, um, but does not uh, eliminate lot status. So once the location um, is taken off hold, lot status is still uh, brought into play. Uh, when it's deciding, uh, when JDE is deciding and allowing you to pull inventory to uh, associate to work orders or sales orders or move transactions and things like that as well. Uh, so the uh, the setup required really is um, I took a nine to a tools environment um, and I installed using the web deployment um, and package build these e six ESUs. Um, those were the only ones that were required to make this functionality work. So I applied those ESUs into this environment. Um, and then uh, you'll need to set up a new UDC 41LS, which is lots um, um, location status. And I highlighted this thing called special handling code. And I'll show you that when we look at that UDC code, it's, it's not necessarily the UDC code that does it, it's that special handling code that determines what kind of transactions are going to be allowed within that location. As you can see here, it's blank. You know, any incoming or outgoing transactions or number one in there allows incoming, two, outgoing, three, um, do not allow incoming and or outgoing. So in other words, everything in that location is put on hold. Um, and number four, which means you can put bring inventory in and then move it around uh, uh, to other locations and move it using a, a, a transfer or a, an adjustment, um, just not receiving or shipping out to sales and stuff like that. So it kind of gives you that extra double check into the, in the inventory is good. Uh, you use the P4100 location master to change the location hold code. And then I think finally there's um, for your MRP run because MRP will consider if the location's on hold or not. Um, and you have processing options for the R3482, R3483, um, et cetera, uh, to what hold codes do you want to include when it does its planning. Uh, so you can set up to five, uh, you know, so you could do any blank and up to five. You can have additional hold codes because um, the numbering scheme doesn't matter. It's all what's in that special handling code. So that's really the, the setup required. All the other programs, you know, uh, 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 shipping, uh, receiving of purchase order, shipping of sales orders, you know, uh, inventory adjustments, transactions, the uh, inquiries are all uh, set up and, and, and taking into consideration the location hold 
um, code. So um, I thought with that, you know, I am a, kind of a demo guy, so I'm going to jump in and show you. This is just a screenshot of the location master. You can see I've got it within the branch plant 310 in this screenshot. Uh, location 2A2 has a status code, a, a, a lot a location hold code of three, which means do not allow transactions. So without further ado, let's jump into my uh, JDE environment here. And so the first thing I thought I would do is just show you that UDC code. I'm just gonna fast pass to UDC. 41 uh, is a product code for inventory. LS is the location status. And you can see here where I've got I kept them the same, one, two, three, four, not requirement. You could have I for incoming, O for outgoing, X for do not allow, and, you know, uh, and, and you know, um, I am or something for allow incoming. It's really this special handling code which makes the difference. And that's just a, a point to make sure you remember when you're setting this up. Because the first time I went through it, I set up the codes and it was like, it didn't work. So it was a special handling code uh, that makes the difference uh, in there. So I thought what I do then is show you, let's show you um, av availability by location in my uh, branch plant. So I've got branch plant 310 and I've got a location uh, one, a one, right? I have a, I'm, I'm sorry, one. So row, row one, uh, 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 rack A, uh, level one. And you can see I've got, you know, a private, this set as a primary location for tennis rackets, and I've got my touring bikes, and I've got 25 available, 25 on hand um, in that particular location. But if I just go ahead and go into uh, the warehouse locations, the P4100, and, and I go into that location, and what I did, when you're seeing, when you first set this up, the location hold code was always out there for a future use, and I just dragged it over <coughs> early, uh, more to the left of my grid and highlighted in yellow for purposes of our presentation. And if I put a three in here and put that location on hold and save it, if I go back to my uh, uh, available item availability by location and I just refresh my inquiry, notice the availability is not there anymore. Uh, my hold code is being taken into uh, consideration by that inquiry. So, um, and it works all the way on through. Um, I have a PO out here, for example, and the default location for my uh, PO, um, I think it was 1441 was one I was gonna show you. The default location uh, for this item to put away is that location uh, 1A1, right? So I've got you know this R1041 item location, the default location is 1A1. That's just pulled in when it was, the, the purchase order was created. Uh, but if I go ahead and try to receive that uh, PO in into that location, because it is now on hold, and I try to uh, receive it in there, set my receiving option to one. And try to save the transaction. Notice I get a message that that location is on hold, uh, thus forcing me to, if to receive it, to go ahead and put it into another location. That's not on hold. It just tells me that's a new place for that location, but we can go ahead and continue on and receive the, the transaction in there. Uh, the same uh, 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 consideration is taken into by sales orders. So if I go to my, uh, an order, simple order to cash flow, and I have a sales order in here that I want to, that I've created, um, and you want to confirm shipment of that sales order.
and it's for the, uh, the the item 220 that you saw in there, right? Um, and if I try to call the location out for this item, you know, notice the 1A1 location is not showing any availability in it so that I cannot pick that at all to go ahead and ship it. I'd have to pick one of the other locations. But if I go back and take that location off of hold, um, we can go ahead and pull it and, and, and assign it to the, uh, um, to the, um, Assign it to the uh, uh, to the sales order and confirm shipment and ship it out out the door. Whereas, and even when you're entering the sales order, if you're calling out availability and trying to uh, pull that uh, uh, item in, uh, you you know you don't get to um, uh, you you can't you can't pull that location. Uh, summary availability will also consider it. And so here's where you can see I have 25 on hand, but available is blank because the location is on hold. Um, but my other locations have inventory and I can go ahead and pull them. So that you get to see that it's got inventory in, in there, um, and uh, but you just can't you know, use it or, or consume it because it's a, a, a inventory hold a status code of three. So that is really, uh, this is meant to be a short, you know, how to uh, video for you. Um, um, and uh, so that's just again, the, the screenshot for it. Um, and, you know, thank you from uh, for attending. And if you have any needs or any follow up questions about anything regarding JDE or this presentation, um, there is my formal name i'm bud legally i'm a gregory but there's bud shaw at getgsi.com is me and uh, i thank you for uh, attending and uh hope to hear um uh, uh from you uh, uh in the um in the future so uh, thank you